um, it is Saturday and I wanted to pop in. I wasn't planning on vlogging, but I figured some of you guys want to know how we're doing out here in Colorado, especially Boulder. Um, I'll insert a clip right now. Thick ever. I know. This Anywhere ever. I can't even see right the mountains in front of us. Dude, it's and it's all purplish, it's orange, and green. Where is the damn fire? Uh, I think near Fort Collins. It literally smells like we're on fire of what was it, what it was like yesterday. We could barely even see in front of us. These are fires from Cameron Peak, which is located near Fort Collins. And this fire has been going on for a couple, like almost, over a month. It's only 50% contained, but the winds are causing it to get spread. And that's about an hour up the street from us. And now Fort Estes, which is 45 minutes up the street from us, can see the fires and now they're moving closer and closer. Uh, we just had a fire start in Jamestown, which is literally in Boulder County, and people are evacuating. So um, I don't, I've talked to a few people and I don't anticipate us having to evacuate, but <laughs> JT and I were talking about it yesterday. The air quality is pretty darn bad. Thankfully the wind is blowing it um, further, but let me show you uh, what is going on right now. Okay, so as you can see, yesterday, well, as you saw yesterday, it was completely covered in smoke. The winds pushed it away this morning, but this fire over here is from Cameron Peak, and then there's another one that's starting, I, can't, I don't know where, the, I, actually that might be the Jamestown one. I think that's the Jamestown one, and then further back there is the Cameron Peak. Uh, this is pretty, yeah. pretty crazy, guys. I mean, this is literally... I mean, just up, up the street from us. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty devastating. And sadly, I know that, well, let me just show you a little bit more. And then it's going up here where my daughter's room, she has the best views. And so all of this is covered in smoke. Um, the wind surprisingly makes it worse obviously because uh -huh. fire needs oxygen and um just to inform you guys some of it i know that fires are good for the forest to restart and everything um some of these were natural caused by lightning whatever but some are man-made and excuse me some are man-made and so people need to really be responsible uh, with forest fires, throwing cigarettes, anything because it's so dry out here. So sadly, some of these are man-made and that kind of just sucks. But um, JT and I are going to head to um, actually downtown Boulder because we want to get a few things. But we need. I'm thinking about getting an air purifier because of the smoke down here was so bad. But enough talking. I'm going to head out and then I'll show you a little bit more of our drive, the fire and smokes. JT and I did talk about it that if we ever had to evacuate, well, we always have backup, so we're safe. Um, my father-in-law lives in Longmont, my parents in Texas, but we were contemplating maybe just packing a luggage and heading to Hawaii when we evacuate. So, I mean, that's a positive in that, but guys, you know, 2020 has been crazy. <laughs> very, very crazy. <coughs> Um, I have my kick-ass pants on, so I'm like, bring it 2020. How much more can you bring to us? Uh, but yeah, anyways, I want to show you on this side, Boulder on this side, is actually pretty clear because um, the winds are not pushing. The winds, the fires are coming from northeast. But yesterday, guys, literally all of like that, literally all of this was like orange and purple and girl, I mean... It literally felt like, I know I keep saying literally, it really felt like a post-apocalyptic like situation. But um, through all, I wanna tell you guys that uh, though this is kind of scary for us because we've never experienced it, I know that life comes with many um, trials and um, all I know is that uh, you just gotta look at it, be prepared and be positive and take it for what it is and you react when you need to, you're prepared and um, even through all the, the shit, sorry, excuse my language, that 2020 has brought, um, I'm still very incredibly blessed, JT and I were talking about it, like to be living on this earth and we have our family well and healthy. So anyways, I'll let you guys go. <laughs> oh. Hi guys, update, um, 30 minutes later, the fire is going over the mountains. Um, 
I don't have it on film because of smoke's covering it. Uh, but but that's not important. Um, my neighbors just called directly next to us and they're evacuating. No one officially told them to evacuate, um, but they said probably <laughs> they'll make um, us evacuate. Um, so we're just gonna pack our bags, get some food in our system, and wait for directions whether to leave or not. We'll probably <laughs> use this as a time to adventure and get an Airbnb somewhere cool. So uh, yeah, anyways. Um, 2020. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never, I never use my finger, but <sighs> all you can do is just stay calm, prepare. What can you do, guys? But uh, pray for everybody that has evacuated Jamestown. Pray for everyone that their houses are in the line of fire. Um, uh, I'll insert pictures when I can get them in, but the fires are basically all right here. You just can't see them because the fire is covering it, but. Actually, you can see a little peak coming through. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Hi guys, it is uh, six o'clock and the fire is on the highway. We are not in the evacuation zone yet, but evacuation warning zone. However, talking to a few people, an LV coffee lover whose husband is a firefighter um, says to just leave now. So we are going to, I am, my kids are already packed, but I'm gonna finish packing. And then like, go, you know, being in the situation, honestly, like I don't really feel like I need to even need, I need to take anything, but like pictures and hard drive and like, you know, pictures, honestly, that's all I can think of. I'm like in almost in a zone where I don't feel productive and I'm like, I'll just take pictures, that's it. But I know I need to get clothes and everything. So uh, <laughs> this is where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, keep you updated. Look at all the helicopters. You can see the helicopters flying over it too. Hi, Justice. I'm trying to film. Yeah. You're, I'm gonna get copyrighted for your yeah, the fire is getting closer. Look over there, Mom. Where? Over here, you see that red, the orange over here? Or pointing. Oh, yeah. That's what I, oh, wow, that's more, too. I can't even see it on camera. That's crazy. I know. Hopefully. Well, everyone over there already left. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'm uh, was frantically, I, we're pretty much packed. We're not taking much, JT he still needs to pack. I don't think he's, ugh. anyways. Um, but this is what I was frantically looking for. Remember we had camcorder DVDs? This is videos of all the kids and pictures. So that's all I really wanna take to go. That is it. Um, everything else I could really care less. Um, pictures, the kids' memories, that's it, guys. When you're down in this situation, honestly, there's nothing you can think about but memories and honestly, your family. And uh, yeah, anyways, bye. Okay. Oh. So, ooh, hello, I look rough. <laughs> this reflects the day. Uh, uh, great news, I got a text from my neighbor who spoke to the fire chief in our neighborhood. Thankfully, we have a fire department in here and they said for the night, our neighborhood is safe and um, if the winds change it doesn't look like it'll change it actually looks like the fires are heading north and now we're looking at it and it looks like it's really late I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but it looks like the fires are being even more contained and less so good news let me see if you can see it actually but uh, we are ready to go if needed and then let me see this is my daughter's room let's see if you can see Let's see. So there's the fires right there. They used to be expanding like the whole ridge, the whole line. There are lights out there containing it. It looks like it's going less, but it expands all the way. You're not even gonna be able to see, but way past out there. I know this is unclear, but uh, it's not as bad as it was earlier today. Um, I'll put a little clip in from JT's seeing it earlier this afternoon. It was blazing.
but uh it looks like uh we might be good hopefully and it looks like it's heading away thank god okay guys it's nine o'clock i am going to put the kids to sleep jt and i are actually going to stay up late and we are connected to like an email text alert system to let us know um, and we're also staying tuned to the boulder emergency website so to make sure that we are not in the evacuation zone um, by looking at it from the windows i think we'll be good for tonight but i think i'm just going to check every like hour or once in a while and stuff like that so not a night full of uh, sleep but that's okay um i think i'm going to end it here tonight we're safe today we've been eventful pray for all the families in colorado that have lost their homes um that have evacuated um thank a firefighter that you know or volunteers and um just Keep Boulder, Jamestown, Boulder County, everyone in Colorado in your prayers, guys. Um, this is not my typical type of vlog, but I, I do feel like um, I should take you on this process, this whole journey, and also uh, to keep you guys aware of just be careful. You know, when they say don't start forest fires, uh, sometimes, you know, just be diligent and stuff like that. And um, if you want to know more information and uh, please, you know, look up boulders, like, um, uh, look up the boulder news or head to our boulder emergency and see what you can do to help. Uh, I'm sure there are some things that you could do. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining us in the vlog and I will not possibly show you guys another vlog tomorrow as to what's going on and updates. But again, uh, stay safe with your family. Give your family and friends a hug and uh, just uh, take your day as a blessing as we do, as we still do right now, even through this all. Uh, still very blessed that we are doing well and uh, yeah, that's it. Just looking at the fires clear, the skies are cloudy and smoky, but hey, I don't see any fires and smoke. Thank goodness. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in. It's the next morning. Wanted to give you guys a quick update. The fires look contained from what I can see. We had a really cold drizzle this morning and that really helped out with the whole situation. I am so thankful for everything, for all our hard workers in Boulder, for our heroes, our firefighters, our first responders, our volunteers, everyone from all over Colorado that contributed to helping contain this fire. This was a huge fire here in Boulder County. We lost 8,000 acres and many, many people have lost their homes, unfortunately. Um, the fire jumped the highway 36 and burned 70 extra acres. It was very devastating and uh, just thankful for all the help. People volunteering their land for their animals, uh, Longmont, uh, stables for volunteering their space for all the animals that had to be evacuated. Thank you to the people that were on Nextdoor or on our Facebook groups uh, volunteering their land or some space for people to stay at. Uh, I love seeing how amazing our community is and um, if I can find any information down below, I will link in the description box places you can volunteer or websites you can check out where you can volunteer, how you can help, how you can contribute and help the families of Boulder County that have lost their, their homes, lost many things. Uh, yeah, it takes a village to uh, you know, help with something like this and to build back up. So thank you again from me and from my family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything, guys. We really appreciate you saving the house last night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you.